Hello guys, in this video let us check out the Dell E2421HN monitor. Now this is a 24 inch monitor from Dell and comes at a budget price of around 12 to 13 thousand rupees. On the box specs you can see the price quoted is around 20 thousand rupees but you can easily get it for around 20 to 13 thousand rupees on Amazon.in. Link to purchase will be in the description. Now you have to open the flap like this to open the box. Now unboxing the box to the top we have the basic accessories like the HDMI cable, the power cord, user manual, the monitor stand. Now here is the monitor quite well packed. So this is a 24 inch monitor IPS LCD display. Now let us take at the accessories one by one. So this is the power cord here. Next up we have a nice HDMI cable. Then we have the user manual and the safety and regulatory information guide. Now this diagram shows the uh, accessories that you get with the Dell E2421HN monitor and how to set up the accessories so you can see that you're given the different steps on how to set it up now let me set up the monitor so before setting up let me show you the accessories so you can see here we have the stand that gets put on the back side of the monitor and it looks quite nice it's a bit heavy and built pretty well looks quite solid feels pretty solid Next up we have the base of the monitor so you can see the base is quite big and you can keep certain items on this base. Now this is a panel that fits on the back side of the monitor. Now we have fitted this stand to the uh, monitor stand. Now you can see here we have the monitor waiters. Now this looks quite big it's a 24 inch monitor. It has some bezels although but looks quite nice and solid the best part is monitor can stand on itself you can see i have not put any stand in this can stand still here so to the back side we have we have few of the ports so here we have the hdmi port and the dvi port and here we have the power cord port and you can see it has little bit of tilt like this so it can't tilt much but it can tilt like this so we don't have height adjustment here for the monitor you can just tilt it a little bit in upper or lower direction now this will get fit here like this so as you can see the screw is hidden now here now I have connected this monitor to my laptop and you can see it's asking me uh, for the language selection so I can just click on this button the second one to click on English and it says Dell 24 inch monitor looks really nice looks quite big for a 24 inch monitor actually so I'll show you how it's done so this button you see is for power off so you just click on this and it's power on and the power is also pretty quick you can see but then instantaneously it gets powered on so when you click on any one of the button you can see here we get the option so this is the cancel button here we have the menu button to the first you can see and it's this is up and down so up down and here you can select the preset mode and you can see the color of the monitor is changing now so we are in standard we have comfort view if you're working for a long time and you want night mode etc you can warm cold custom color standard so for now i have standard now for to click on yes i'll just click this yes now if you see if i click on the second button i have the brightness control settings directly so i can directly control the brightness from here so for example i am i want to increase the brightness increase the brightness like this or I can just click on the next button and this will decrease the brightness of the monitor as you can see the brightness is now getting decreased of the monitor so you can do it pretty easily this is a bit of tedious task in my Acer monitor but with the Dell monitor it's pretty breeze it's very easy and I really like this similarly you can just increase or decrease the contrast according to your own preferences but I will keep it to the default which was at 72 before and now as it has been said I'll click on X now when you click on third button you can see here you will get the overall settings so there's the overall settings so you can just go up and down like this so you can see here we have the brightness contrast uh, next is input source so we have put in the HDMI port then we have the color scheme you can just set the color according to your own wish then we have to display it shows the aspect ratio for example if I go to select the aspect ratio and I can just select the 4 is to 3 8 is to 4 I'll select the white 16 is to 9 click ok you can go into sharpness and do the sharpness select the sharpness and let me just go back 
we have response time normal so this will be back you'll just click on back and let me go to the menu again so here you can see next is the menu just language transparency timer disable lock reset you can personalize you can press the shortcut key so you have these shortcut keys and you can personalize what you want but this is absolutely fine the existing one then you have display info dci ci lcd conditioning and other setting so this is pretty easy and pretty quick way to adjust your monitor settings so brightness contrast and other settings pretty easily so it's just showing for a comparison there is my acer 21.5 inch monitor and this is the new dell 24 inch monitor you can see there's a quite big difference the dell 24 inch monitor look quite big uh, for a 24 inch monitor it's really nicely made and looks quite big actually so here is the configuration that I've made. To my left, I have my Acer monitor. To my right, I have Dell monitor. So you can see, I can just scroll my mouse like this to here and here, right? And here is the configuration of the Acer monitor. And here is the configuration of the Dell monitor. And on an initial, if you compare, the Acer monitor also looks quite good for 21.5 inch. If you have limited space, you can obviously opt for this. But if you want a larger space, you can get this. And if you're looking for a dual monitor setup, I will highly suggest you to go for a 21.5 inch and 24 inch as you can see. Uh, this, this setup is quite good and this doesn't take a lot of space and with limited space also you can do set up dual monitor and this would look quite nice also. In terms of display wise, the Acer one is also quite good. It is also an IPS panel and the Dell one is also an IPS panel. Both of them look quite good. The colors on the Acer one looks nice, but the colors and the other factors of display on the Dell one looks much better than the Acer one. Now, uh, this looks quite nice and better. Again, if you're looking for better image quality and a larger screen, the Dell one is for you definitely. Now, if you're a person who are working from home, uh, this dual monitor setup will make a very good setup for you but if you are just wanting one monitor and just planning to get a monitor for your work from home purposes this would be a very good monitor so looks quite nice uh, the saturation is really good so you can easily code on the computer also so if you're looking someone who is a software engineer or who codes regularly and wants the computer a monitor for coding this would be a great monitor for 24 inch monitor the dell 24 inch monitor you can use the split mode and use it pretty nicely so here you can see the two windows fit pretty well on this so just in case you're looking for a monitor for multi-purpose use this also works so you can see we have ample amount of space and both of them are quite clearly visible and works quite well also so guys this was a quick unboxing setup and review of the dell 24 inch monitor i hope you like this video if you like this video please give video a thumbs up if you're interested in purchasing the same a link to same will be in the description from here you can go and buy it also, we really like the viewing angles and the overall display size of this Dell monitor. Although 24 inch, it looks quite big and also the display quality is really nice. So if you are into programming or you are working from home and use uh, your laptop a lot and want a bigger screen, this will be really great purchase. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you guys soon in my next video.